Hi guys, we're out in my garden at the moment. I'm going to make a kite. And I'm going to use this waterproof membrane that's left over from when they did my conservatory on the side of the house. This is the sort of stuff they put underneath the concrete to give us a damp proof course. This was some that was left over, thrown in the rubbish skip, that I hooked out. So I'm just cutting up a length about a metre square, a little bit over a metre square, so I can make a sled kite. I'm also going to use these black rods that are left over from a broken beach shelter. They were actually much longer than this. It's one of those spring out beach shelters that one of my relatives couldn't get back down after they'd used it on the beach, so they threw it away. I saved these spars. They're normally about, I don't know, five metres long. So I've cut them down to the length I want. And I'm going to use them on the kite. So I'll bring in the piece that I've just cut out and we'll do it indoors. We're in my conservatory now. I've cut a piece of that plastic roughly to the size I want. You can see it's a bit wrinkly. There's even a few holes in it where it's been uh, walked on and damaged. But I think we'll be okay. So I'm going to base my kite on a standard sled kite. Uh, this one here, pages are coming out. <laughs> Only I'm going to cut circles in it instead of slots like that. So we see how we get on. It's going to be quite large. Marking it up will be the important thing. Getting a bit warm now. My wife's actually got the heating on in the conservatory here to dry out the washing, which I've tastefully hidden from the camera. But it does mean I'm overheating. And I've just had one of those sessions where I've searched everywhere for a tool that I know that I've got, which is the right tool for the job, and I can't find it. Because what we need to do, where the strings will be attached to the kite, we really want to put some eyelets through the plastic to strengthen it. And I know I've got a tool for doing that somewhere, but I can't find it. So we're just going to have to put duct tape over it and just hope it lasts long enough to get a video of it flying.
because I expect it will tear out eventually. Still, we've got some duct tape, so we'll stick it together now. That's as far as we can go. Attach some lines to it and find some wind. There we go, guys. This always happens when I make a kite. Last night it was windy, rainy. Today, well, not a breath of wind. Well, maybe a breath. But if it was windy enough for a kite, that tree would be bending right over. Well, guys, it's a bit windier today. <laughs> and it's intermittent rain. We'll go and give it a try. Even if we can just get a test flight out of it, that'll be good. But that's, uh, <laughs> that's a bit windy. We'll try it. Summary. We managed to get it up. It's too sensitive using two lines on it like this. It could do with just a single line because as soon as I move one string compared to the other it spins far too easily. It's too sensitive. Either that or we need to put a much longer tail on it. Well it hasn't got a tail at all. We need to put a long tail on it to balance it out. So it survived quite a few heavy crashes there. Still in one piece. So, put a tail on it and try it another day. <laughs>